Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be talking about Andromeda Galaxy and a new discovery about the actual size of this very unusual, very beautiful and extremely fascinating object that you can actually see with your naked eye in space. Anyway, let's learn some science and welcome to What The Math. <laughs> So if you know a little bit about uh, science and space sciences, you may know that one day the Milky Way and the Andromeda Galaxy are actually going to collide. And this will happen something around like four-ish billion years from now. And they'll basically combine into one super large galaxy uh, that we don't really have an official name for yet because it hasn't happened, but some people call it Milkdromeda and the variation of such. Now... What's interesting is that we have recently discovered a very unusual fact about Andromeda. It seems to expand a lot bigger and a lot uh, farther than we initially thought. In other, way, in other words, we seem to now think, or at least some people think, that the collision between Andromeda and the Milky Way has actually already begun. Now, that's very, very unusual, because if you ever look at the distance uh, between the Milky Way and the Andromeda currently, this is what you would actually see. Let me, let me show you how far away they actually are. So let's, let's assume that this here is the Andromeda and the Milky Way galaxy is at a distance of about 2.5 million light years. It's about right here. So here is the hypothetical Milky Way galaxy and there is the hypothetical Andromeda galaxy at a distance of 2.5 million light years. That means that the light from one galaxy to the other takes about 2.5 million years to, to travel. Now, they are pretty far away from each other, but the unusual new discovery that was actually quite brilliant in its own right uh, shows that Andromeda seems to have a very, very large halo of hydrogen, ionized hydrogen, orbiting around it, all the way around it, at a distance of something like 2 million light years. In other words, I'm going to see if I can actually create this. We're going to try to create this using Universe Inbox. Um, basically, by looking at Andromeda Galaxy and the, its vicinity using objects known as quasars, which are actually super, super bright. These, these are the brightest objects in uh, the universe, and you can learn more about them from one of the previous videos. Basically, by looking at these objects and looking at the region around Andromeda, the scientists were able to see that some of the, lights gets, some of the light from those quasars gets stuck in uh, in a region that's about 2 million light years across. But if you go a little bit farther, it's fine. So the light doesn't get affected. So there's actually this huge halo. And let's actually create this using the ring system here that we're going to add right now. So, okay, it's a little bit maybe too dark, but it's good enough. So there is that halo. So there is the Andromeda in the middle. And right around it, at a mass of about half of Andromeda, which is actually quite massive, there is a lot and a lot of um, very interesting um, ionized hydrogen, which often is what stars are made from. Now, this is actually pretty much as close, or it can actually reach as, as far as the Milky Way. So the Milky Way might already be touching this halo, and might already be kind of stealing some of the material from the Andromeda galaxy, meaning that the collision has already begun. And considering our own galaxy, the Milky Way, also has a halo, the chance of uh, this collision uh, already happening is actually very, very high. Now, we don't really know how big our halo is. And here, we're actually going to place another galaxy right here that's going to represent the Milky Way. So we don't really know how... Um, how far away our own halo is, but if it's anything similar or even a little bit uh, similar to what Andromeda has, then in this case, it's very likely that they've already started mixing uh, and sort of interacting with each other. And we'll be doing this for the next uh, few billion years. Now let's actually add another halo for the uh, Milky Way. 
and it's going to be green in color, but a little bit smaller. So if it's about 200,000 light years across, it probably isn't really touching just yet. But if it's anything bigger than that, there's a very high chance that they've already started interacting and are already mixing their materials and basically combining into one. So these halos uh, actually exist in pretty much every galaxy in our, uh, in our universe and are often not as big as the one around Andromeda. They're actually maybe a little bit closer to this around the Milky Way. But Andromeda Galaxy seems to have a very, very large amount of material outside of its actual galactic plane. And this suggests really one thing. This suggests that it experienced a lot of supernova. And a lot of this material is actually non-hydrogen. Uh, it's like so heavy materials like carbons and uh, metals and so on, which once again suggests that it was all from supernova, which we're going to just simulate here really quickly. Let's just take Rigel or something, place it right there and make it go supernova just so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about here. So these uh, various stars as they go supernova release a tremendous amount of material and it's moving really fast. As a matter of fact, most of the time it moves faster than the escape velocity from the galaxy. And as this material moves out of the galactic plane, it basically gets distributed into this very large halo, which totally is invisible now because we have a star in there. But as soon as I remove it, it's actually going to be visible again. So here we go. There you go. So it basically gets deposited into the halo and becomes part of it. But since the mass here is so tremendous, like I said, it was like half of the total mass of uh, the Andromeda galaxy. This to us suggests that there were lots and lots of supernova and a very, very large amount of material escaped into the vicinity and actually far reaches of this galaxy. So that's what we've discovered about the Andromeda and it's actually a pretty interesting discovery that might actually give us a little bit more information about uh, how this gas interacts with other things in outside of galaxy in the intergalactic plane and also maybe one day we'll be able to discover some of these unusual stars that actually do get created in the intergalactic space, not inside the galaxies, but in between galaxies. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Hopefully you learned something a little bit about Andromeda and come back tomorrow to learn something else. Subscribe if you still haven't and share this video with people that enjoy learning through video games. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Space out and as always, bye bye. Let's just accelerate time and see if my game crashes or creates something absolutely incredibly beautiful. I think it's going to crash. I think it's going to do something really, really crashy. Oh, there was some explosion going on in, in uh, the Milky Way. And it looks like it Milky Way lost a lot of its mass because I actually removed the dark matter from the simulation. Without dark matter, the galaxies can't really stick together.